Olaf! <laughs> Olaf, please! Olaf! Uh, I don't know if she's here. I get the feeling that she's not. Um. <laughs> There's a lot of arrows. Olaf, please! We have your payment. I've... Hmm. <laughs> it's like a issue we might run into is how are we going to get these into a pen without letting our original animals escape? Uh, you just right click on that fence. <laughs> That'll do. Hmm. Do we, we don't really need the leads, so. I feel like we're breaking the laws of physics with like 20 <laughs> animals on one single fence post. Ah, uh, it'll be fine. Look, I love it. They've got new. They've got new rainbow friends. No. Oh. I think that's us paid back for the mainland books. Yes, I mean, I think we should probably leave a sign. Maybe? Or just... Just leave them? Yes, let let us go back to a base and get a sign. Wink. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just use the teleporter. Um, but, yeah, Lilith, there's your animals, I guess. Good luck with them. Yep. I need out of here, there's too many things going on. Thanks for the books. That's me finished at this side. Yeah, I think that is us complete, I believe. Are we ready, are we ready for a test run? <laughs> yes, a test run. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it works! It actually works. <laughs> I know this is my first ever flying machine, but I want a bigger one already. <laughs> yeah, I want a, like one you can sit on. <laughs> oh, well. So you could probably. Turn us in a game where we could race it. <laughs> like total wipeout, you gotta dodge the the, the slime. <laughs> I'm gonna get annihilated here. But if you are wondering, I mean, this is obviously gonna give us a bunch of sugarcane, a bunch of paper, which we need yep, for rockets. For, uh, yep, a very particular reason. Yes, because not only do we get paper, but obviously in the mod pack, we have the ability to smelt the paper blocks. You just do a three by three, and then once they're smelted, you get these burnt paper blocks, and those can be turned into gunpowder, which is very handy for our rocket needs. Yep, so we don't need any creeper farms, all we need is a single sugarcane farm, and that will get us both the gunpowder and the paper. Yes, yes, very handy, very handy. I mean, we did think about building a creeper farm, but yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> We're using the mods as intended, yes. so we're getting that mod experience. Yeah, a fancy new way to make gunpowder. <laughs> exactly. And also, also, we figured out that you can place your chest plate on as well as the Elytra, so, which yep. is just like the best discovery, I think, ever. Yeah, all of the mods make it a bit difficult to see at first. Yeah, yeah, but very handy for but the protection. And off we go! Awesome, we have our Elytra now and rocket production as we've seen down below. This is going to help us go and explore the lands a little bit better, go on some adventures with the other members. Speaking of which, let's go meet up with Doom as I want to go on adventure in the end with him to find a specific item. Doom! Doom, hello! Hello. Yes, yes. Hi, hi. Alright, so, we all this flying about is giving me an idea because we have these new rocket technology and there was something that we did need to get in the end, I believe it's called a Hydrolux Petal. Yep. Um, I think it gives you ability to make enchanted books and all kinds of other things, so I think we should use these rockets, these elytras, to go and try and find that. Definitely. Anything that can speed up and get better on chance is well worth the thing. Yeah, something cool again with the mods, so... Um, with the elytra obviously makes it a million times easier, so should we go and do that just now? Let's do it. Terra Bay Stone. Oh, look, new flowers. <laughs> what are you like? Creeping moss. That's what I called you in high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I feel like we're going to lose each other if we just start flying, so I don't know if you want to walk for a little bit. I think. I don't actually know where these things spawn. Let's try to get some leaks in the Shulkers game, and then for some reason, I'll look at the Endleman. Oh, still a Shulker thing? Can I hit you? Oh, no! Let's hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you! I'll catch you! No! No! I'm oh. Oh. Oh, really I would have caught you if it wasn't for the giant dandelion or whatever. Um, 
I found something that we should do. Uh, this. Yes, I did do an orienteering All right. class thing. Um, I, was... I don't feel in safe hands, if I'm not going to lie. That's slender. Do, do you want me to um, tell you if you're going to fall off the end of one of these islands? or? You can read the map, the map will show me. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's like right here. I feel like this is like the upside down. Buried end. It's a barrel we're looking for. Alright, buried barrel. What is this? A shadow walker? Oh, well, we're blind. He has a shadow walker. There uh, was a shadow um, walker. He, yeah, I, don't this know, one. I don't know if you want to do this, like, over the void. That's fine, we have a lighter. <laughs> I like how you've just given up finding the treasure. The treasure was the friends we made along the way. I mean, everybody we've met on their way has tried to kill us. I feel like we need to take the loss. No. Um. What was I thing? Yeah, so I was up here before, Obsidian Altar. And it's like a Bosses of Mass Destruction mod, so... I think we can summon like a boss, but I don't know how. Like stand back. Are you ready? Yes. I have an Eye of Ender. How did you get that? We're killing the wheel. Oh, I forgot you're a wheel murderer. Right, there you go. What what? Oh, it's dropped. <laughs> oh, a thing! It's an obsidian. It's one of the things. Wait. What is this? Uh, uh oh. Um. What? It's teleported oh. towards me. <laughs> My phone. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I got was two hearts. Oh, was that he just jumped. Oh. I think he's not taking full damage anymore. Oh, he's regen and health. I think we need to kill that thing. What thing? I think the seed. Yeah, there's like a little pillar. I think there's, there's three. Oh, yeah. There's one there and there's two little seed. Uh, I can't hit it. I think you need to use your pickaxe. Okay, it's dead. Ow. Oh, well, I'm getting attacked by phantoms. I need to get rid of this final. Oh, I'm dead! Oh no. Oh no. How did I die so easily? I was full health. Oh no. Hey folks. Wait! If you put the waste on down somewhere, I can yep, tell yep. Okay, I'm just gonna come through. I've got a lighter but no rockets, so. Yeah. Got it. I'm bailing. Oh, you were right about the sword. It's made a massive obsidian pillar. Well, a large obsidian. Oh, I think he's dead. You killed it. Yeah. There's on that, that shulker on top. Ah. Any goodies? Uh. Well. Uh. Yes. Yeah, some stuff. There's like obsidian heart in here. There's another explorer map. I got a flare, but um, too cheap. I don't think we're ever going to find the thing that we're actually here looking for. So I mean, do we? Do we go? Oh, this is the yeah. biome. The 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 biome that we need for the thing. Ah, nice. This is the is it, whatever oh. it's called. Um, where does it tell me biome? The Sulphur Springs. But it doesn't look anything like the stuff for Springs Online. Like, it doesn't have the big geyser things. Yeah. So something tells me we're not going to get our, um... Hydrolux, petals or plants or whatever it is we need. So we're just back over at the base of ourselves and this back area has been doing my head in for a long time. It is a bit of a mess. There is leaves and things all over the place. We did want to put in a path there. As you see, we have started it. But I want to extend this all the way up the hillside here to get to our bee farm. And then it will go up to the right hand side towards our portal there at the top. And I want to decorate out some custom trees and things and make it a lot nicer. So we'll get to work on that and we'll jump back in and show you guys the result once it is all complete.
And just like that, this back area is looking much, much nicer. So what have we done? We have obviously extended these paths and we'll take a walk along that in a moment. Doom actually showed up halfway through doing this and helped out a little bit. So he built this little flower stand here. So Petals Plus by Doom is a throwback to an old shop of his. Um, but over here we do have a little entrance and we take the path. Um, this goes down to our mine shaft here. So a little bit decorated, it's nothing special, but just wanted to cover that up a little bit. We have added a pond here with a little bit of a water feature coming down, a few lamps. Um, I threw in a few custom trees, I've got some spruce ones here and there, I've got some oak ones with the azalea leaves on them, I think look pretty nice. Um, again, the paths we've seen going up. As we head up further, we do have a little picnic area, another little pond, and these statues are actually really cool. They are respawn statues, I believe, for the nether. I don't know exactly how they work, but yeah, they do look cool in the little pond there. Uh, we do have our bee farm, and then again, the path leads on up to our nether portal. The nether portal will be decorated, hopefully, in the next episode. We're going to put something around this, so it's not just a portal floating in the middle of this place. But all in all, I am happy now with this back area being decorated and I think it is a good addition to our village and helps us with the path leading up to the extra buildings and things that we still need to build and get to working on. Working on this though did pose a little bit of a problem with resources. There is things like sand, gravel, some just general stone and things that we don't have a lot of. So we're going to have to go and grind that out and gather some materials up before we meet up with Doom for our next project. You know, getting all these materials is a bit of a grind, don't you think? Yeah, definitely is, definitely is. A lot of time invested. Now, I don't think we are going to be the only people that will feel this way as well. No, definitely not, definitely not. So what do you think of maybe we offered up our services to make this a little easier for everyone else? But, uh -huh. maybe we do it in such a way where we also get something back in return. Ah, I like your thinking, I like your thinking. Nothing too nefarious, but something that could benefit both parties. Yes, I love it. So what is this? We've got favors of fortune. Fav... Fav... fav Fave hours. Fave hours. I can't believe you, this. I gotta, can't, come on, you gotta spell it. You gotta spell it American <laughs> here. Press <laughs> press for service. Ding ding ding. Hello, hello. Ding ding ding. Kyle, it's, welcome. This is fun. Yeah, this is addictive, very addictive. <laughs> but well <laughs> welcome to the Fables of Fortune 10. Please Ooh. take a seat. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Wait, did I seriously just get that? Achievement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's it. what? 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 I've already got a fortune. Look at that. That's it. yeah. That is your fortune. Well done. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> but no, welcome, welcome. So this is the favors of fortune ten, and we here accept all kinds of favor requests. Yep. Anything your heart desires, from blocks to items to maybe taking out an adversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. how about a foot massage? That can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> if we can get the right foot mod, then possibly. <laughs> yeah, like the beer mod for feet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Kyle, do you have a favour in mind that you would like to request? You know what? I do. There's a... Uh, there's a... I gotta pull up JEI. I gotta remember what mm -hmm. it's called. There is a tree in the end that I need more of, and it's so annoying to chop down. Right, okay. Dragon okay. tree. Dragon tree, mm, okay. They are so obnoxious to chop down. Yeah, some of the, the end trees are far too big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I could just have one more chopped down, oh, I'd be so happy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, the way that this favor tent works is that we'll accept your favor, but you do have to press this button 
to roll the dice to figure out what your fortune is going to be and some of them have some consequences that are listed here on the board. Oh, mm -hmm. but so. also some bring benefits. Oh, and some, so I just press this button much. right so here? So when you're ready, you can roll the dice, press the button. All right, here we go. Get a drum roll. <gasps> and what did they get? What did they get? <gasps> oh. Whoa. Whoa. All good. All good. Ooh. That's all good. All good uh, is yep. all good. Your favor that will be granted. Oh. <laughs> there is no consequences here. <laughs> yep, that will cost you nothing. But now I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh, it's just spat out the bag. <laughs> oh, the next one would have been <laughs> payment required. <laughs> Sorry, I broke it. No, no, I no. broke it. Oh, I've ruined the favors. No, you're fine, you're fine. Or the fortunes. All right, what do we have here? We got not as expected, double up, pay with your life, <laughs> favor in return, payment required, all good. I was honestly, now that I read the red one, I don't know if it does this, but I was half expecting the floor to open up as soon as I pressed the button. <laughs> Not lying. No, no, we just use these um, here tools. That... <laughs> <laughs> right. Your, your head joins my collection. <laughs> uh, it is it is quite the beard to add to the collection. Well, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yep. that, is, that is an impressive beard. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but so, I mean, we can get that tree. How? I mean, we don't actually say how much you need. Just one tree. Just one tree will be plenty enough. Okay. Nice. Well, we will get that for you. And thank, thank you very you much. Gentlemen. Yes. I love your shop. This was this was fun. Yes. Maybe come and back again soon for your foot massage next time. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna weigh. I'm gonna weigh the odds of how much I really need that foot rub. Yes. All I right, suspect fellas. a lot. I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Thank bye you. bye. 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 Can I just say something? See, a few weeks ago, during one of our older videos, KB left a comment saying that the banter between us two reminded him of the two old guys from the Muppets. <laughs> and, and sitting in these chairs like this together, I think we're sort of feeling that fire a bit too much, don't you think? Yeah, maybe just a little bit, I think so. Um... <laughs> Especially with my skin, I kind of look like Kermit the Frog under this hood, so... Too yep, many Muppet Sith vibes <laughs> going on. Yeah. Next time, uh, take make a note, and next time we'll uh, we'll get away from this. Nah, let's keep let's keep it going. So just to give you a better idea of how this works, basically someone comes in with a favor. It can be anything from gathering materials to killing someone to finding a particular item, anything they like, and they request it here. When they press this button, the dispenser will pass out a hat on top of this armor stand, and they are referred to a different fortune. So, we have not as expected. This means that their favor might be, they might get it with a twist, so they may ask for two stacks of cobblestone, and we might give them it in the raw stone format, so they have to convert it to cobblestone themselves, something along those lines. Then we have double up, which will double their favor. So if they want a certain material, we'll get twice as much for them. Pay with your life. Well, we have to kill them for that one. Favor in return means they owe us a favor. Payment required means they need to pay for it. We will deem the price depending on the favor. And all good, which we see Kyle get, just means that we complete the favor with nothing else attached. So all in all, it went pretty well. And I thank Kyle for coming over and being our first customers. Hopefully we can stand around here and wait for someone else to come by. Hello? Hello? Anyone else need a favour? Anyone? Hello? Yeah, we might be waiting a while, so let's go meet back up with Doom so we can actually complete this favour for Kyle and get him his dragon tree. I think this is the tree that Kyle's looking for. I think so, yep. And I can see why he was saying it was a bit annoying to cut down. <laughs> it's it. absolutely it's a massive tree. tree. <laughs> but I think he said just yeah. one. We'll do this big one, that should, that should have enough for them. And that was yeah, filling yeah. in the favour. Yes. I'm ready. Well, BP, that is the first fortune finished and delivered to Kyle. Brilliant, brilliant. I mean, that one went quite oh. smoothly. We got that tree yeah. chopped down. Quite a lot of things from it. Massive tree, so... Yeah. Quite a few stacks of the wood, and we've also left them with the leaves and saplings and all things we picked up, because... That's a part of the tree, and... It was the tree that he wanted, so... Yeah. A tree he has. Successfully. First happy customer, I would say. Yep. Now it's time to fly off into the sunset. <laughs> 
Well guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Better Minecraft. I hope that you did enjoy and I hope that you liked this little idea for our favourite 10 and the fortunes that some people may be getting in the future. If you're looking forward to seeing that, then go down, hit the subscribe button to catch the next episode, like this one if you enjoyed the video, and until the next one guys, thank you very much for watching, bye bye.